Hi guys, welcome back to Onyx Food Hill. Thank you for joining me again. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make Mexican rice. Mexican rice is a very simple rice recipe, yet it's filled with amazing flavor and you're going to love this. In this Mexican rice recipe, I'll be using two Roma tomatoes. One cup of long grain rice, you can use basmati rice. Half a teaspoon of cumin. One tablespoon of tomato paste. A quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Half of a small onion. Two garlic cloves. And of course, the signature of this rice, one jalapeno pepper. To make this authentic Mexican rice, I'm going to start by rinsing our rice under running water. I'm just going to make sure I rinse the rice thoroughly to remove excess starch from the rice. Once my water has turned out very clear and clean, I'm going to bring the rice into a strainer and leave it to drain out excess water. Next, I'm going to start by slicing my Roma tomatoes and then bring it into the blender. I will also add in my onion, garlic cloves and the tomato paste. And now I'm going in with my cumin curry powder and turmeric I'll go in with two cups of rich chicken broth and lastly half a teaspoon of paprika and we'll blend everything except the jalapeno pepper Once you've reached a very smooth consistency, you can set it aside. Next, place a medium sized pan or skillet on heat. Then, to it, add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of cooking oil into it. Once the oil is heated, add in the rice. You have to be very careful when you're adding this because the rice will start popping and to prevent splatter from getting to your face. At this point, I'm going to use a wooden spoon to saute the rice until all the rice turn out golden, but not burnt. This is exactly 6 minutes of sauteing the rice. You can notice the golden color and it is nicely distributed and we have a very nice fragrance here so it's time to bring in the tomato mix i'll just gently pour in my blended tomato once i've added the tomato mix i'm just going to go ahead and season this with salt you can add to your test and i'll gently stir the rice and make sure everything is well combined Next, I'm just going to make a slit on the jalapeno pepe. Okay, once I've done that, I'm just going to leave it in the middle of the rice and allow it to cook. I'll also reduce the heat to a medium setting and then place a lid over the rice and leave it to cook. Okay guys, 30 minutes later, the water in the Mexican rice has dried up. At this point, you can just pick a grain of rice and test for doneness. Okay, so I'm sure my rice is tender. You can notice a thin film form on the surface of the rice. So I'm just going to stay back into the rice gently. Once I have stirred everything back into the rice, I'm just going to turn off the heat. So guys, our Mexican rice is ready. You can notice the even redness in color. 
this is why it's also called red rice and every spoon of this rice is filled with all deliciousness mm, i love this rice you can go ahead and garnish this with freshly chopped cilantro if you love that or some sweet bell peppers just like i'm doing i really love this mexican rice this is the one pot rice and all the grains of rice absorb all the seasoning and i love the taste and the nutty flavor of the rice let me know what you think about this easy rice recipe in the comment section below if you're new to my channel please subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss any video whenever i upload them until next time i love you guys bye